What's going on there guys? Good evening, the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this uh, beautiful November 2nd, Tuesday evening, 2021 to date. It is about, uh, see what our time is out here along the West Coast, 6.12 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe is a 5.1 earthquake down here around the Indonesia area. Quite a bit of movement around the world to talk about, including some activity at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone where they've seen a 4.4. Also some movement showing up on the Petrolia California station. That's at the southern end of the Cascadia. Picking up some aftershock activity in that region of the uh, northern California area. Let's see what's going on out here on the latest USGS map. Let's see if I can get this thing to pull up here real quick. Voila, abracadabra, we got it. Make sure this is uh, fully. Stand by for one second. There we go. Latest map here from the USGS shows that 4.4 near Petrolia, the all magnitudes here, not showing a whole bunch of aftershock sequences in this area. Um, well, actually, I take that back. Looks like they just popped up here. Kind of covered up from that 4.4. So 4.4, pretty deep into the Cascadia subduction zone. The Cascadia subduction zone stretches all the way from here, the plate boundary, Northern California, Pacific Plate, uh, Juan de Fuca Plate, North American Plate, uh, Triple Point Junction here, northward off the coast of uh, Vancouver Island area. That's uh, Vancouver Island up here. And stretches all along this area, basically from right here, the Cascadia Fold and Megathrust Belt, the subduction zone to where it subducts um, underneath the North American plate, the Juan de Fuca plate, that is. So a little bit of movement. This is a little uptick in earthquake activity, nonetheless, here uh, just south of Eureka, Fortuna area. Uh, Fort Bragg sits well down south here, um, right off Highway 101, where Willits is. This uh, activity, once again, inland. But if you look at the depth of these earthquakes here, it tells me right there that these are subduction zone earthquakes, and these are pretty good size. 4.4 uh, subduction zone earthquake is uh, pretty decent. Uh, I want to check out the tremor map real quick right off the bat because this will give us a general idea of what's going on. And we are seeing some tremor activity into the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, and that's uh, kind of in the southern Oregon area. This is not at the surface. This is about 35, uh, roughly about 25 to 35 kilometers down dip downstream as the Juan de Fuca plate subducts underneath the North American plate uh, and you get that slow slip tremor, that interaction between the two plates there creating a vibrational uh, type earthquake. But sometimes um, these magnitudes here, here's the M energy release of these tremors. Most of them are in the low ones, if not smaller, far as the magnitudes go, energy. Uh, but on occasion, there's no doubt we get some buildup going on where we see some larger magnitudes and that 4.4 uh, a prime example of some subduction zone quakes there at 26 kilometers below surface uh, looking at the rest of these magnitudes you can see they're pretty much about the same 26 25 23 kilometers as we uh, look at that these uh, magnitudes here they're not big but uh, definitely some further activity in the region of the cascadia at the southern end up here to the north, northern end looks pretty quiet up here near Victoria. We're looking at little 1.2, uh, somewhat deep, 14 kilometers. Could be uh, potentially, uh, I, wouldn't, I don't think it's a subduction zone quake, but uh, definitely down here these are. Looking at the movement uh, inland in the northern California 2.0 or 2.4, another subduction zone quake here, 20 kilometers inland down dip of the Cascadia. Uh, and that's, once again, in Northern California as well. This is just a prior earthquake. Uh, looking at the microquakes in Northern California and also up here into Southern Oregon, some very small microquakes, including one at Crater Lake. Of course, Crater Lake, a beautiful area, volcanic in nature, right? Quite a bit of history. Uh, if you look up the Crater Lake um, historical geology on it, it's, uh, it's really awesome to study and learn about how this lake was created. Uh, we do see, we do see periodically some uh, microquakes take place at the Crater Lake, Oregon area. Uh, and that's uh, kind of looking like what happened today. Just a little point one near Prospect, but it's right, right smack dab under the lake. 
there at Crater Lake, Oregon, also Northern California area, a little microquake near, uh, what is that, MacDell? Mac MacDole? Not for sure. I've seen it. I've heard of it. Just uh, not something I speak of out of my mouth on a regular basis. Uh, moving down south, looking pretty quiet, folks, far as general earthquake activity goes along the eastern Sierra Nevada. Just a very small handful of earthquakes in the microquake department throughout the uh, eastern Sierra Nevada stretching down through Ridgecrest. Even Nevada, things seem to be toning down a little bit. Did have an earthquake uh, in Westlake Village, California, just uh, northeast or northwest of Los Angeles, a 2.4, 11 kilometers, somewhat deep. Also off the coast of Long Beach, another deeper earthquake, uh, 2.1, 10 kilometers out in the Pacific. Uh, things kind of just kind of calming down in this area of California. Although it's very possible we could see things starting to be on the increase here along the West Coast with all this earthquake activity there at the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. This activity, as I mentioned, uh, just a, a little bit of heightened earthquake activity within the last uh, within the last hour. I'm kind of curious to see if anybody reported feeling this earthquake, considering that it is a fairly deep subduction zone quake. It looks like quite a few folks uh, uh, reported feeling that. Just some light shaking going on around the Fortuna, Eureka, McKinleyville area. And look at, at the Did You Fill It responses shows the areas. Uh, Rio Del. Looks like Fortuna and uh, Loletta, Redcrest or Redcrest area. Quite a bit of uh, reports there from various folks around the area of that 4.4 in Northern California. So uh, just kind of watching the West Coast, folks. I mean, when things start cooking out here along the Cascadia, that kind of gets my eyes and my ears popped open and uh, just kind of being on guard tonight, that's for sure. My earthquake rock is pretty steady. It does kind of move on occasion when we get some earthquakes out here in California. And it uh, really sways back and forth when we get some uh, some felt ones out here. Kind of just hanging from the ceiling. And what I mean by earthquake rock, well, it's a crystal. Uh, just a clear quartz crystal that I have hanging from a piece of uh, yarn up from the ceiling. Hanging down about three feet. Uh, just something hanging here above the computer. And I uh, kind of like to keep an eye on that thing when we get rocking and rolling out here in California. New Madrid area has shown some increase in earthquake activity as well. Just a 1.2 and a 1.3. Rig Wrigley, Ridley in Marston, Missouri area, all showing a little, just a little increase in earthquake activity around the New Madrid area. Uh, let's look at the rest of the globe here. We are seeing a pretty good cluster of movement over here around the Indonesia area. You can see quite a few fours and the latest a 5.1 within the last hour. This is kind of like the strongest one and the deepest one so far in this little cluster of quakes in the Indonesia area. This area is very prone to producing some significant size earthquakes. Also out here around the Mariana Trench, we've seen some movement around Guam. Some deep earthquake activity as well, 5.0. San Jose Village area, way down south here. Look at this one in the Indonesia area, 236 kilometers for that 4.3. So a lot, a lot of movement taking place here, producing quite a bit of pressure westward, uh, but in turn also stirring up the pot over here along the west coast. Some deep activity again around the Fiji Islands area, including this 558 deep 4.9 earthquake. Pretty uh, significant size or uh, significantly deep earthquake activity uh, taking place there today around the Fiji Islands area. Uh, down around the South Sandwich Trench area, we did see a 5.1. South Sandwich Islands, 26 kilometers into that subduction zone. Also around the, uh, uh, the Balney, was that Balney? Balney? I'll probably get slaughtered here on my comment section. 5.4, 10 kilometers there towards the South Pacific, uh, South Pacific Ocean area, north of Antarctica. Uh, kind of an interesting little earthquake way down there. Uh, what do we got for Hawaii? Things kind of ramping up as well uh, around the southeast flank and around Mauna Loa as well. Just some earthquakes kicking off there. No significant changes taking place, folks, on the La Palma uh, volcano Spain's La Palma and the Canary Islands. I do kind of want to keep it a regular update status on that, but things are just kind of doing its thing. No major changes. Looking at the uh, map here on the EMSC model does show some earthquake activity. Still kicking up around the Canary Islands, including a 4.2 earlier. Around the La Palma volcano, earthquake activity still on the increase. Uh, last night they were kind of getting a little bit more shallower. 
around the La Palma volcano, which could be uh, indicative of some upward, uh, obviously magma towards the uh, towards the uh, the surface. So we are keeping an eye on it. Any significant changes, I will do an immediate update, and I'm uh, going to try to keep this thing rolling when it comes to the updates on La Palma. So just be on guard out here, folks. I mean, this is kind of interesting. A little earthquake out out here in uh, in this area of California. And I can't say it's rare because we do see quite a bit of movement. Uh, it's just been a while since we've seen a pretty good size earthquake in the uh, this area of Northern California. But you can see on the map, no doubt, where this 4.4 uh, struck today, a line and wealth of uh, earthquake activity over the years. And some can get pretty large out here as well. Uh, this does not show the Cascadia Megathrust earthquake on the map. But when it does, uh, this will be not a good area to be in uh, when that nine-pointer kicks up. 9.2, 9.3 magnitude earthquake in the Cascadia subduction zone. But uh, we can see some sixes to 6.0 six, uh, 6 to 7.0, possibly greater, just along these fracture zones. Uh, it doesn't have to be a subduction zone quake. Uh, we can get some uh, easily along the Gorda plate area and also the Blanco fracture zone up there to the northwest. So we'll keep an eye on it, folks. Uh, what do we got far as Yellowstone activity goes? Uh, there is some movement kicking up there way earlier. Looks like low earthquake activity. This one right here looks like possibly a 2.0 or so. Uh, but overall, not a whole lot of movement kicking up into the Yellowstone area. They did have some uh, registered earthquakes. It looks like 1.5 um, and some negative quakes popping up in Yellowstone. But overall, things diminishing for the most part in that area of the states. Alaska, relatively quiet, just some microquakes popping up throughout the Aleutian Islands into the uh, center part around Fairbanks, Alaska. Things relatively quiet once again through the northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's just extremely odd, folks. I just don't recall ever seeing an enormous amount of quiet period uh, in this area. All right, guys, be on guard, stay alert, and uh, I'm going to double check all my earthquake stuff I have here. My house, I always like to keep lots of water and whatnot keyed up uh, and stored. There's a, another earthquake right there in the Petrolia area. Not for sure if that's uh, possibly one of those aftershocks that kicked up um, following that 4.4, but uh, things definitely ramp it up and uh, kick it up here along the West Coast. So be prepared, guys. Uh, also noticing a little increase in earthquake activity in Southern California around the Barrett Station. That's a little localized earthquake. Nothing big, but uh, just kind of a sign of things kicking up. Looks like it's a 2.5 there on the globe. That's going to be the 2.5 kicking up around the Southern California area. And of course, 2.5 right there in the green flag. All right, guys, have a good day. Good night. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, everyone.